Indian Cabin Road is the most horrific and notorious road in all of America. Not only does it withhold satanic cults and rituals, but shotgun-wielding hicks that will guard their territory with gruesome passion. Walking these paths may only lead to one outcome if you come across these mentally deranged animals. Disturbed graveyards, unholy churches, murderous hillbillies, and twisted cults will never make a good mixture. Those who test these measures will only come home if their body is in pieces. Indian Cabin Road is not a myth. It is not a legend. You should never go to this road. It's a cold one out today, boys. Look where we at. Indian Cabin Road. It's about to be a crazy one tonight, guys. If you don't know what Indian Cabin Road is, I had like a little snippet there before that I just played beforehand. It's a pretty famous road for like very gruesome murders and very crazy stuff that happens on this road. We're at the very, very beginning of it. I parked my car right there. We're gonna hike down there in a minute, but I just wanted to show you guys we're at Indian Cabin Road. And the craziest thing is that the McGinleys actually live on this road. I didn't know it was Indian Cabin Road like when I first started going to the McGinley's house, but uh, turns out it's Indian Cabin Road because there's no more street signs once you go like, it's, I'm telling you like the McGinley's house is miles, miles down this road. This road goes on forever, but there's no street signs down there. So when I came across it, I had no idea it was Indian Cabin Road. But since I put that little chip inside of the bag that you guys saw last video, it's a SIM card and I can track it on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this SIM card deep into the decoy of clothes bring it to his house and see what he does with it. I traced it and on my GPS, it says Indian Cabin Road as the address. So I was like, dude, what are the odds that the McKinley's are, bro, it just makes so much sense. Anyways, I'm bugging out a little bit. We're about to hop in my car and travel down there and go back to the McKinley's house. That ping right there is exactly where the SD card is or the SIM card. The tracker that I put in the bag. It looks like it's directly still where I left the bag. So maybe Calvin never even picked up the bag or did anything with it. But uh we gonna find out. We gonna learn real quick, baby. If you don't know who Calvin is, play the clips. Oh, no, no, hey, 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 stay right there. Hey, hey, hey. My name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Mm. That's good for y'all. Please. <laughs> Yo, oh, 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 oh
on the house. I think it's better off if I just use it as like a, you know, Babe Ruth baseball swing at the guy's forehead in case he comes at me. Uh, but this tiny little light and the flashlight is, or on the camera is plenty. I don't want to give her a position away too much. Let me check my phone one more time to see where this thing is. Where the blue dot right there and the ping for the SIM card, it looks like exactly where we left it. Yo, am I? Might be in the house, to be honest. Probably. It's kind of scary. You Probably ready? is in the house. You ready to send this? Are you ready to send it? Are you, are you dumb? He's ready to send it. The thing is, I'm fearless at this point because this man, if you guys didn't see my last video, broke into my house. So now at this point, I used to be scared because I didn't want to get into confrontation with him, but he brought the fight to me first. So if he comes out here, bro, I have no problem slamming him over the forehead with this. I'm not even joking. I used to kind of be like, yo, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go to jail, get in trouble. But dude, ball is in our court now. If he comes near me, bro, Oh man, I'm gonna be Tiger Woods in it all day. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I never heard that type of noise before. Shine that down the road. That wasn't even in the woods. That I was know, shine that down the road. Dude, the thing is, now that I know that cow... Demon dog. Dude, my heart's starting to pound. It's the Jersey Devil. Dude, it's still going in the bag. That's a little girl screaming. All right, I'm out. Goodbye. Dude, why? Hold on. Let's recoup. Let's go in the car real quick and recoup. Oh my God. Stop. What? I'm trying to show the Duffies that you're babying out I'm right now. I'm not babying out. You're I'm babying just... out right now. No, I'm not. I'm telling you what I think it is. Dude, who cares? I think it's wolves. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, now that I know that Calvin's house is on Indian Cabin Road, the woods that we walk in all the time, unknowingly, is the woods of Indian Cabin Road. So literally, there's, there's demonic worship and cults and other crazy stuff in these woods other than Calvin. Calvin's like the main problem that we face personally, but hearing that stuff off in the distance is quite alarming. <laughs> we don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna chill here for a second and just like regain our strength. Yeah, let me just rub your head for good luck quick. No, no, Real quick, let me no, rub for man. good luck. You were making fun of me. I wasn't even scared. I'm not making fun of you. Yeah, I you think were. You're I've been out here. Dude, I think you're the strongest most muscle man in the world, bro. If there's anybody here, I want it to be the bald man supporting me. You got the nice merch on too. The yeah, new the, bangers merch that you can get limited edition first link in the description. That I made. Wow, that's crazy. You can go buy it now before it gets sold out for the holidays. Anyways, let me rub, rub your head quickly before we go in there. It's good luck. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, now we're ready. We're going to give it another try right now. Um, I got to pull up my compass because the ping just kind of gives me a general area which is like right here the 10 20 yards of this trail so it's not going to bring me directly to the thing i got to bring out my compass and actually go to the coordinates of where the ping is but right now i'm just kind of really scared that there's other people watching us in these woods or other things i should say we want to keep going to 125 or 126 126 what with 126 uh east southeast, southeast. yeah so right here that's literally straight ahead let's go This thing is hard to freaking maneuver. It's like opposites. Now it's telling me. Wait, no. We're so good. We're so good. We're so good. There you go. I'm not a pioneer. It's kind of difficult to work these things. Yo, 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 yo. Turn the, turn the 
the flashlight off and turn on night vision. Flashlight if there's anybody here. It's really hard to see right now. very slow because I can't see one foot in front of me, to be honest. some sort of meat here. That is baby meat. Underneath the house. No one's here, bro. Let's go check if this the SIM card's in there. What we gonna find? You can just feel the evil when you walk in here. Luckily, they're not here right now. What, what, what? There's a bat in here. What? Let's see if we can find this SD card, or the SIM card. That was definitely used. The OG weapon? That was definitely used to cut someone's hand or leg off. Or something. I'm trying to find this, this card we got going. Or the SIM, the SIM card. Pull up the it says it's somewhere in here, but it, I don't really have connection right now, so it's kind of lagging out. It's not letting me like look, but you can. There's a coordinates on it, so we can just find the coordinates on here. But I'm not like like I said, I'm not a pioneer. I don't know how to work this stuff. It definitely is in here somewhere. Oh. It says 126. It's telling me right this way. You think it's in the attic? We never even looked up there for anything before, bro. Hell no, nah, it's definitely not up there. You never know. What if he's trying to hide stuff up there? It looks like he has a plank up there holding something. Look at that wood right there. Yeah, but look I don't at the think wood. They're not they're not going up there. Come probably on. Probably just threw stuff there. This could be body parts. You don't know what. Why is it there in just plain sight? I'm afraid to touch it for some reason. Just grab it. Dude, I'm just afraid to touch it for some reason. I feel like it's gonna like trigger something. Hey, I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, why am I afraid to touch it? Bro. Okay, okay, grab it, okay. Ooh. I feel like it was gonna trigger something, like a freaking bomb or something. I don't know. The person comes out of that you know bag what's right the there. Weird thing about it, though? The weirdest thing about this is that the 
clothing is not, the bag of clothing is not here with it. Which means he found, that's actually bad. Because that means he found this inside of the clothes. He and he's probably weird. even more mad at us. Dude, let's just freaking get out of here. Let's freaking just get out of here. I'm putting it, I'm taking this with me, by the way. Thank God he's not here again. It's weird though, he hasn't been here for what? Two days now? Kind of sketchy. We're running out of uh, like information. We need to start figuring out some more stuff about this family. Yo, I'm real sorry that that clip was like kind of long and boring. First of all, I could, when I turn night vision on, the camera quality might be a little bit different by the way. I'm using a different camera for this video, so if you're wondering, that's why. I bought some night vision lens type of thing. It's kind of weird how it works. It might be bad quality. I'm not sure if it even worked well, but walking through that just now, in the pitch black, yeah, the camera can see stuff. We could not see anything, bro. I couldn't I couldn't keep it on for that much longer. I didn't want to freaking get blindsided by anything in the woods. So I turned the flashlight back on. The, the thing is, though, I have the SIM card with no bag of clothes anymore. So we're kind of at a dead end at this point. I'm going to go back to my house and see what we can figure out because I don't want to keep going to this man's house and risking my life if we're not proceeding with the story and figuring out what we can do to stop this family of serial killers. That's the whole point of us keep going. I'm not gonna keep going here if we're not getting anywhere with it. Risking my life for no reason, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go home and brainstorm a little bit and see what we can do because he might be a little bit mad at us now, which is not good. No, he no, I should say, he's definitely mad at us now, which is no good, so let's figure something out.